Mitch has been doing comedy in town here for a little while. Originally started in Salt Lake. Am I right? Yes. All right. Everybody welcome Mitch Nelson. Arrange, arrange, adjust, adjust. <laughs> I'm me. Hey. Hi. 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 I have uh, nothing to do. Nothing to do today. I don't know what I'm going to try, but I think it's going to be a story. You guys want to hear a story? Yeah. All right. This is, a, this is, a, this is a, somebody was talking about angry dads, and uh, my dad was angry, but uh, different. Like, like, my dad made me angry, because he told the same stories all the time. But this one kind of hits, this other story that he used to do all the time. So this dude grew up, uh, I mean, this dude was born, and for whatever reason, he had nothing but a head. That's all he was, was a head. And uh, as he's growing up, getting older and older, uh, eventually, he got to that age, and he was like, I need a girlfriend. I want, you know, I, I want to start dating. And so he was all excited, and he was like, rolled up to this really hot girl, and he's like, hey, babe, how about a date? And she goes, ah, talking head, and she kicks him, like, just soccer ball style, right across the street. <laughs> Boom, off he rolls. Ah, oh, that hurt so bad. <laughs> and, and like, not just, not just physically, like, that hurt, he didn't, well, if he had a heart. But... <laughs> It was bad. It was bad. He just depressed for a little bit, but but he was like, okay, okay, maybe you know, what? Maybe maybe she was just having a bad day, or whatever. I, I I surprised her, and so the next time he saw a cute girl, he rolled up, and he slowly rolled up, and like she saw him rolling towards him, and like she was curious. He was like, good, okay, curiosity is good, right? So he rolled up, and he goes, hey, babe, how about a date? And as soon as she spoke, as soon as he spoke. She, she did the same thing. She screamed, ah, it talks! And she kicked it. Kicked him right across the street again. It's like, ah, oh, that did not work. Oh. But he got kicked into a bar. He rolled into a bar, and he saw this girl. And she was sitting there looking at these olives, like in her martini, and like, oh, I love olives. God, a bartender, can I have some more olives? He's like, olives? Oh, man, she really loves olives. Dang, I wish I was an olive. And poof, he turned into an olive. And he was like, yes, yes. He got up on the bar and he rolled right up to her. And he goes, hey, babe, how about a date? And she goes, ah, talking olive. And she smashed him with her hand flat on the bar. And that's the end of the story. So uh, uh, the lesson, you want to know the lesson of this story? Of course, it's stop while you're ahead. <laughs> like a really polite crowd, and you must be wondering, and I know no one, you're way too polite to ask, what's wrong with my arm? So uh, you get to find out. Not, like, you're going to be really happy about this, because I'm just going to straight up tell you what happened. I was in college, and we went to this party, and we were all partying really hard, like we were just having a great time, but it was a small house. It started out as one of those just small groups, but... Eventually, all the other parties died, and they were like, oh, they're still going at the house over there. So they all came in, and it started getting really crowded. But we're all drinking and drugs, and everything's going on. And finally, this one dude is so high, he's like, guys, I just, I can't dance anymore. There's no room. I'm going to try something. And so he ran out on the front porch, and he took both of his arms off and just left them on the porch by the front door. And uh, he came back in. And started dancing, and we were like, whoa, it worked. There's like way more room now with no arms. And so we all did it. We all ran out and put our arms on the porch. And uh, it was cool. So we, we, and he was right. It worked a lot. You know, when everybody did it, there was way more room. We're dancing, having fun. You know, you don't get to touch so many things. Well, you get to be more imaginative how you touch things. It's really cool when you have no arms. So it was pretty fun. We were having a good time. And then I had to go to the bathroom, so I ran in there. And then I realized that uh, with no arms, that's really tough. So, so I'm, working, I'm working that out in there, trying to figure stuff out. And then, of course, it's a big party in the neighborhood, so that's, uh, you know, my luck. That's when the police got there. And everybody's like, run, run, the police are here. And I was like, what? So I'm trying to pull up my hat, pants with no arms, and I figured something out. I don't know how it worked out, but I got them up. 
And I ran out, and I looked on the porch, and I was about to grab my arms back, and all I could find were these little midget arms. <laughs> and so, ever since then, I've been stuck with these small arms. And it's been awful. I got so freaking depressed. I started overeating because, as compensation, and so now I have small arms and a big butt. And, uh, I don't know. Kelsey said, Kelsey said this phrase. She said, the guy was so attractive that he was disabled. And uh, I'm going for the exact opposite look. I'm going, I'm going for the exact opposite look. I'm going for so disabled that I'm attractive. So, if, you guys like, if you guys like this big butt, just let me know. But I'm going with you. Um, right? This guy was born and was only a head. Yeah. Like he's just an emoji. 